Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my favorite makeup brushes. So if you're in the market for finding new makeup brushes or maybe you just want to update your makeup brushes, they're getting a little too old, then keep on watching. So my name is Terry, and I do honest, no hype product reviews here on my channel. So today I am so excited to tell you all about my favorite makeup brushes. Some of them are affordable, some of them not so affordable, but all very useful nonetheless. So I have two foundation brushes that are my favorite. One is by Morphe, so this is the more affordable brand. M439. A slightly more expensive makeup brush is the Blurring Foundation Airbrush Brush by IT Cosmetics. So this is IT Cosmetics by Ulta. It's just as dense as the Morphe one, but it's a little bit more soft on the skin. So if you have sensitive skin, this could be good for your face. It doesn't irritate as much. This one is denser and it's really good at blending the foundation, but it's a little bit more rough not too too rough but just a little bit more rough i like this for travel i like that this is smaller you know because you can get into other places in your face um and be more precise like under the eyes um this one is a little bit more bigger so it covers a bigger area and so you can apply your foundation a lot faster so it just depends on what you'd like to use it for but i love both of these foundation brushes so for blending out the concealer i like to use the sephora pro mini flawless airbrush so that's number 56.5 it's perfect for getting into those hard to reach places under the eyes and it's soft and really comfortable enough to use under those delicate areas of your face and my current favorite brush is this super soft eco tools brush so eco tools just came out with a line of brushes that are for sensitive skin and so if you look for that one these brushes are just super soft better than high-end or just as good as high-end makeup brushes my favorite bronzer or contour brush is this. This brush is perfect for more natural looks. Really is good at diffusing the bronzer. And I like that it's shaped in a way that it, it hugs the curves of the face where you need it to be. So I usually pinch this part to get right here and get a very natural contour on the nose and then when I go and use it as a bronzer I could just easily tap 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 it on my cheeks my favorite um, blush brush is by Morphe it's the Morphe E4 just kind of tap 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 it and it's really good at diffusing the blush if I went heavy-handed with my blush and I feel like, oh, it's too harsh, then I go in with my Sigma Small Duo Fiber Brush and it looks like this. And it's really good at um, kind of diffusing the blush, help it blend a bit more. I actually um, prefer, I wish I got the bigger one because I know Sigma has the bigger version. So if you can get that instead, I think that's better for the cheeks. These are more for the precise areas of the face. Let's get started with the eyes. It's Morphe E23. And I like this for applying eyeshadow all over the eyelids. And also when I want it on the crease, when I want it high on the crease and I don't have to be too precise about it. The Elite line of brushes by Morphe. They're really good brushes that are super soft. A little bit more expensive, but it's still not as expensive as, you know, like MAC brushes. 
And I'm so glad that there's a Morphe store that just opened up near the area that I live. I always make it a point to visit the Morphe store in Burbank, so. Um, but now they're here, so I don't really have to worry about it if I need a Morphe brush. Okay, more precise blending brush that I like to use is again by Morphe M433. So I have two, one for like lighter colors and one for darker colors. And I like to notate that by putting a dot right there. It's really good at putting the eyeshadow just where you want it but at the same time blending it right there in the eye socket. That's what I use this for because it's tapered. It's flattened and, and it goes perfectly into the crease without you know, going too high up. When you're working with darker eyeshadows, you don't wanna go too high. I love Morphe brushes. Now this brush is a little bit more rough. It's not a synthetic brush. So I like these non-synthetic brushes. It helps me diffuse the eyeshadow a bit more. For my flat shader brush, I like to use Sigma E55. I think I'm getting better at showing products for you guys, huh? Sometimes I have them upside down or backwards. <laughs> this is my favorite makeup brush for applying shimmer or um, any kind of eyeshadow over the lid. That flattened shape of the brush helps it um, pack the shadows a little bit more. There are times when I use my finger for applying the eyeshadow. It just depends on the type of eyeshadow. And I like it that you can be precise because you know your finger's a little bit thick and when I want to get it right here at the very crease, this works best. I'm gonna put purple eyeshadow. My favorite smudger brush is by e.l.f. So it's kind of like a flat shader brush. This is what I like to use when I blend the eyeliner under my eyes. I'm just gonna bake a little bit and since I need this makeup to last. I like this brush and also I like it for travel. This is by IT Cosmetics and it's their um, airbrush powder brush and it fits perfectly under the eyes and it's like very soft and fluffy and I like to use it to take away the bake or the powder under the eyes. Of course, you can't forget the highlight. This is my first time ever trying Kylie Cosmetics. I was just intrigued now that she's coming out with a lot of face products. You know, before it was eyeshadows and now she has blushes and she has a highlighter. So I got this to try and it's in the color queen deep so kind of like a champagne gold with a pink shift to it this is by real techniques i like using a fan brush more for highlights because it's not too harsh Ooh, can you guys see that and so this fan brush is perfect for you know just start targeting that precise point or middle of my nose to give me the highlight that I need without really emphasizing my, my oiliness or my nose too much. Sometimes I apply it right here. Let me put my eyeliner. My other favorite brush, by the way, is the Sigma E20. And this is what I like to use when I'm using eyeshadow as an eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna use this punk color right here. And so I like it for applying the eyeshadow more precise. So it's not gonna go too low. It just applies like an eyeliner. So it's really good at being precise and it's really good at getting close to the lash line. And if you really want something more precise, the Morphe 432 brush looks like this. And I use this for like darker, way darker eyeshadows. Both my pencil brushes are by Morphe, Morphe E36. So I'll just use, you know, the Kylie highlight and just tap, tap, tap it. 
there. Yeah. Sometimes I also use these pencil brushes for smudging under the eyes. I don't know if you can find this anymore. It's LYC Classic. I just haven't had the chance to look for something to update this brush, but I love it for my brow bone highlight. I love it for, you know, blending and just blending the color and marrying the color between your brow bone and also your transition shade so whenever i feel like oh i have my eyeshadow a little bit too high i use that to kind of diffuse the eyeshadow that i added and at the same time give me that highlight so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up this video if you liked it or learned something if you're new here please remember to subscribe to my channel i post videos once a week comment down below one favorite makeup brush that you can't live without this is the final look. I hope you like it. Having the correct makeup brush makes a big difference on the makeup look, but also you don't really need to spend a whole lot of money. There's a lot of good quality, affordable makeup brushes out there, and I hope this video helped you out in some way. Hope you enjoyed this look, and as always, I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!